an intercooler that can make 25 horsepower. We're talking about a bolt-on intercooler that makes horsepower. You heard me correctly, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. I've never heard of such a thing, an intercooler increasing horsepower. Enough talking, let's go ahead and unpack this and see exactly what Kenny Bell is talking about, what kind of product they have, and what we are gonna be installing on my 1500 horsepower Shelby GT500. And here we have the Kenny Bell Biggin, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Biggin Biggin, the Biggin intercooler that goes on top of all root style superchargers. And I do want to go ahead and mention this will go ahead and replace the stock intercooler that is provided on all Shelby GT500 with the OEM superchargers that come on these Mustangs. So this will be a complete bolt-on as well as if you're looking for any aftermarket superchargers like Kenny Bell, Whipple, VMP or anything like this, this will be a bolt-on that can still increase that 25 horsepower because this is just so much better than stock. So one of the things that root style superchargers suffer a lot from is heat soak and this intercooler will provide that cooling factor to definitely perform at optimum temperatures. I said this before, I'm gonna make another video on it more in depth, but as of right now, let's just go over the basics. So when Ford stepped up to the power of the GT500 motor, one of the changes they made was to increase the capacity of the intercooler. More power and boost requires more cooling. So when Kenny Bell recognized that Ford was doing this, they needed to go ahead and make something cooler to support their 2000 plus horsepower blowers that they are producing. Uh, mine is the 3.6 and they go all the way up to 4.9, which is absolutely insane and all the options that they have. So Kenny Bell designed their Biggin intercooler upgrade to increase both the airflow and enhance cooling. And that's exactly what you guys are seeing right now. By increasing the number of rows, which you guys are looking at right now, and the fins per row, which are those little squiggly lines within the rows, Kenny Bell was able to increase the cooling capacity by significant numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the dyno results as well as the intercooler dyno, which Kenny Bell actually has a dyno for intercoolers, which is so cool. They are the only supercharger provider that has a bigger and cooler intercooler that you could go ahead and install to your Mustang. So go ahead and give you guys some numbers. Kenny Bell was able to increase the physical size of the intercooler core from 45.6 square inches to 56.25 square inches which is a huge increase this thing is massive it's still lightweight very built nice nice aluminum as you guys could go ahead and see right here and this increased the flow rate from the 07 to 12 gt 500s with 980 cubic feet per minute of airflow all the way up to an astonishing 1232 cubic feet per minute which this intercooler is capable of it's honestly common sense i don't even have to explain it to you guys you guys know bigger throttle bodies make more power bigger cold air intakes make more power bigger intercoolers make more power you guys see the trend it's as simple as that i did not know that this was out in the market when i found out that it was out in the market I had to pick it up as soon as possible because we are shooting for the crazy numbers. 1,000 wheel horsepower for my Shelby GT500. We're gonna go right now. I need to get this build done ASAP. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the shop, install this, do a very quick install, and then we're just gonna go ahead and finish up the motor with that. But it's very simple. It's bigger, it has more rows, it has more fins. I don't know anywhere else to explain it, boys. This will add 25 horsepower as shown in the dyno graphs because I know you guys like to see the numbers and not just believe me because who believes a YouTuber, right? But I like to go ahead and show you guys the facts. Honestly, I love to go ahead and show you guys new information. I never knew this at all. And to find an intercooler that could simply bolt on with no tune and gain 25 horsepower, I had to show you guys. I want the coolest, I want the fastest, and I want the baddest 
motor out there and boys well we're keep on adding to the belt so enough with this let's go to the shop check out the motor show you guys the process and install this bad boy and then we're gonna go rocking and hear the kenny bell scream like crazy i'll see you guys soon here is the beautiful built motor 5.8 liter looking super super clean fortunately we're gonna go ahead and just partially undo this it's not gonna be too hard i've honestly like changed this out i want to say at least 10 times so basically you're just gonna take off the head unit take off the fuel rails and then lift up the intercooler which is right down there and then we should be pretty good it shouldn't take too long just gonna go ahead and bust it out right now that blower right off and let me tell you that thing is really really heavy now we just got to go ahead and take this plate take the fuel injectors off and basically unbolt all the bolts that hold down this intercooler very simple job so and here is the plate that holds the supercharger easy money to get out very very easy finally got the fuel rails off super simple uh, we actually got this bolt off this one was uh, I was kind of nervous about because we had to cut it for the supercharger this one came off with no problem at all now we just got to go one two three four five six seven eight. all these bolts right here this thing pops out and we're one step closer to reaching that intercooler Simple as that, intercooler's out in 15 minutes. Here is the intercooler. We have to go ahead and flip it over to install the new intercooler. The underneath of the intercooler, let's go ahead and take out all these bolts. Is And here it is opened up. Simple, you just have to go ahead and also take off this little adapter, which is right here. I'm not entirely sure what it is called, but that comes off with just a couple of bolts. And then once when that is out, those little O-rings, make sure that the O-rings stay on there. That is important. Now we just gotta go ahead and hit it with an extension. That baby is coming right out. We got all of the bolts right out. And this is the old intercooler right here. I'm gonna put it right next to the three valve. The difference of what we're working with, the stock intercooler compared to the Kenny Bill intercooler, which you guys can obviously see the difference between the size, the rows, and those little flaps in between. This is gonna be absolutely insane. This is gonna be a direct replacement bolt on 25 horsepower. This is honestly the easiest job I've ever done. I'm not lying to you. I've been at this for about 20 minutes max and this is already out. So simple, simple horsepower gain. Yet yeah, it's so overlooked and I can't wait to go ahead and install this. Basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in. I'll show you guys a little time-lapse and it's a, it's a very, very quick bolt on. So that's the difference, Kenny Bell. OEM. All right, so now we gotta go ahead and use some silicone between the intercooler and the top of the housing so that there's no leaks or anything like that. It doesn't come with a gasket, so we're gonna go ahead and create one so that we got that cool sealant. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And that should be pretty good. Now we are going to take the intercooler Place it right on top, get it lined up, which we're gonna line it up better with this little tool I'm gonna show you guys. Not necessarily a tool, but a part. And they said to, to align it better, go ahead and install this back to where it came from. All right, now that we got that aligned, it's gonna make the intercooler a lot easier to place in these bolts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and thread them and then we're gonna close it up and we should be good to go. Here is the big old Kenny Bell intercooler, absolutely massive, fits like a glove, don't have to do anything. There is an option to go ahead and bore the inlet from the ceiling. I did not do that. Um, you, had to you have to take it to like some type of machine shop to go ahead and get it to like 0.25. I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what they mean with that. Basically, you have to cut it 
cut that a like 0 0.210 inches and uh, basically makes that bigger. I didn't do that. Um, I'll still get the same results with this. This thing is absolutely insane. I'm loving the results. Let's go ahead and seal up the deal, put it back on there. I said this again, and I'm gonna keep on saying this. This has got to be the easiest install I've ever done on a supercharger. And uh, there it is, it's pretty much all complete down below. I forgot my camera at my house. Anyways, um, basically this is the deal. Now it's just time to reassemble, put it back on. Tops, boys, in hours, all it really took. And we're gonna see a difference of 25 horsepower. So excited. Let me go ahead and put this back on there and show you guys the completed. And here we have it, the intercooler, as you guys can see, way more rows, you guys can't see like half of it. Anyways, definitely a lot bigger, definitely a lot more rows, a lot more flaps with inside. This is gonna be overall better. So this is it, before we close it up and never see this again, I just wanna go ahead and show you guys the awesome new Kenny Bell intercooler. All right, and we are finally done. We got the big old Mammoth 3.6 liquid cool Kenny Bell right on top. Intercool is swapped out with the big intercooler and everything is just being ready to put in. Again, I do need the tensioner. I do have belts on the way. We're gonna go ahead and swap out some pulleys, swap out the belts, and uh, basically everything just needs to go ahead and uh, be put back in. I do wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to Kenny Bell for pretty much letting me know that this actually exists. I had no idea. And if you guys didn't have any idea, I was on the same boat. That is absolutely insane. What I just installed is going to add power. It's gonna keep the motor cool, cooler, because that's one of the worst things that these root style superchargers go through. They have the heat soak from the motor, but with Kenny Bell, they have the patented liquid cool, as well as we got the bigger intercooler to even keep that. And then we're also gonna get the killer chiller, which is gonna take the AC. So we're gonna be able to do run after run. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be running at the optimum temperatures at all time. I think the setup is gonna be very, very nice. But yeah, that is what we have here. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the show. Slam the big like button, subscribe down below and comment down below what you guys think about this new intercooler as well as your thoughts on this video. So thank you guys so much. See you guys on the next one.